Well, if my last video is anything to go by, you guys definitely wanted a life hack video. That is disappointing. I thought I raised you better than that. Oh well, ye are partially responsible for this, so we're all in this together. Just a sec, gotta go through this checklist I got off a life hack channel. Okay, number one, copyright free music that everyone is sick of hearing. Check. Number two, ask people to like the video at the start before they see how dumb your hacks are. Give them some incentive to do so. Uh, okay, like the video or I'll kick you in the plums. And three, disable comments so people can't criticize your terrible video. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. Let's just do it my way. I'll give you an actual life hack that I stand by and then I'll give you a dumb one and rant about it because it would physically hurt me not to complain about something in a video. Sound good? Smashing. Let's kick things off. This one I picked up a few years back and works surprisingly well. So you just did some shopping and you picked up a multi-pack of beverages that the store doesn't keep in the fridge because that would make sense. So they're warm. But you're having dinner shortly and you don't want to have to wash it down with a warm fizzy drink because it gives you Vietnam-like bukkake flashbacks. Solution. Wrap the can or whatever in kitchen paper, run it under the tap for a few seconds and then throw that bad boy in the freezer. 20 minutes later, it's nice and cold. Be sure to press it into your partner's back just to make sure it's cold enough. If they don't call you a bastard, give it 10 more minutes. You see this life hack everywhere. Basically, you fashion a toilet roll holder to hold your phone in a way that the speakers sit inside the chamber of it. And through bog roll magic, your speakers will get louder. Does it work? Not really. Sounds louder, yes, but it also makes it sound like shit. Real high and tinny, like being jabbed in the ear with a nun's dildo. Get it? Be because it's long and narrow? Be because a wide one wouldn't fit? Because nuns have tight cut? Problem. It's a pain in the hole to put on socks after a shower because your feet grip to them like an orphan to a teddy bear on Father's Day. Oh wow, that was kinda mean. Solution. Use talc powder on your feet and them socks will slip on easier than a fat friend on Valentine's Day. Bonus tip. Talc your slit, crack and sack or any other sweat prone area to feel extra smooth and dry when you put your clothes on. Just make sure you wipe it off your hands before you touch any dark clothes or it'll look like you've been getting kinky with Jasper the BDSM ghost. Cassette tape box can hold your phone. You know what? I actually think this one could work. Hold on, I'm just gonna grab my cassette boxes. I think I left them next to my typewriter and my fucking spinning wheel. I was a smoker for years. I've since quit, but something I'm all too familiar with is stained teeth. But there is an easy fix though. Use bread soda or baking soda if you're across the pond, it's the same thing. Mix it with a little bit of water to make a runnyish paste and brush your teeth with that. It won't whiten your teeth to dentist level white, but it will make them a couple of shades lighter and take splotches and stains away. This is ideal if you're going out with friends for a night in the tiles or just smiling up at your partner when you let them blow it on your face. Don't do it more than once every few days though. The grit will start leaving your gum sore. Apparently pineapple juice is five times better than cough medicine for a cough, cold and flu. Pineapple juice? Better for a cough, cold and flu than medicine designed by people with years of experience in the medical field. Yeah, I'll stick with the medicine tanks. Also bonus fact, vitamin C doesn't actually boost your immune system or help prevent a cold or flu. There was a study a few years back. It might help with the symptoms of a cold or flu, but the difference is so minute, it's hard to say conclusively. Duckies tiptoe avoid getting sick, don't go outside. There's people out there. This one I discovered purely from being a typical man who hates ironing. The problem, you want to wear a shirt or something but it's wrinkled to bejesus and you don't have or are simply not arsed ironing it. Solution, spray it with a little bit of water from one of them mist spray bottles until it's kind of damp, throw it into the dryer on high heat for about 20 minutes. Won't be perfectly ironed but it'll get rid of most of the wrinkles and it's better than nothing when you're in a rush. But if you have more time do the same but instead of a dryer just hang it up in a clothes hanger and gravity will sort the rest. Fun fact, this is perfect for getting wrinkles out of a green screen. Okay, there's three problems with storing a bagel in a CD spindle. One, who has a CD spindle lying around anymore? Same problem as the cassette box. Two, this would only work with very particular size bagels. And three, and the biggest problem, CD spindles aren't airtight, meaning come lunchtime, your bread is gonna be as hard as a furry enthusiast at a zoo. Tie a knot on one side of your earphones to easily tell left from right at a glance. Especially useful if you're half blind like me and have to keep squinting at them to see the tiny L and R and then have everyone looking at you weird because you're looking at your earphones like you just heard God speak to you through them and he called you a bollocks. Use duct tape to help open the lid of a jar. Wrong. Use your boyfriend. If he can't open it, leave him. Find yourself a real man. 
Glasses are expensive, I know this all too well, especially when you want a pair that doesn't make you look like you think kids are sexy. So when the lenses get scratched up from leaving them lying face down, not only does it add a hazy fog to your vision, it can take a nice weight off your pocket in order to replace them. But you don't need to replace them, just get a microfiber cloth and some polishing compound that you'd use on the paint of a car, and polish the lens of the glasses for about a half an hour. It'll take all those light scratches and foggy patches right off. It won't work 100% but it'll tie you over until you get some funds back in your pocket. Also works very well for foggy headlights on a car. There's a few life hacks around and different techniques of how to hold a nail in place when you're hammering it. They are all bollocks. Here's what you do. You hold it with your fingers and don't try to drive the nail in with one slap. Couple of light taps with the hammer first and that nail will hold itself in place. Then you can stand back and get a good run up on it. So being but a duck and European, of course I eat exclusively bread rolls. But the problem with bread rolls is, I like them crispy, but that's not much good when you buy them first thing in the morning and you want to have a sandwich in the evening and they're gone all rubbery. Easy fix, heat up your oven to, I don't know, a normal temperature, I'm not a fucking scientist. Then throw your rolls in there for about 5 minutes. Now you're not cooking them, you're just heating them up to the point where you can't handle them with bare skin. You can test the heat by placing one of them on your nipple and screaming ducky is my daddy. If this arouses you, then they're done. Then leave them for a while to cool down and boom, they're crispy once again. Why is the internet so obsessed with cleaning things with coke? Who has a surplus of coke and no cleaning sprays? And how is this even a hack? Normal chemical cleaners work better, are cheaper, and if the internet is to be believed, are surprisingly tasty. How to cut a pepper without getting seeds everywhere. Cut the top off, then the bottom off, run a knife around the inside of it and then pull the core out. You're welcome. Okay, this one says put pancake batter in a ketchup bottle for less mess. Okay, so if I put pancake batter into a ketchup bottle, it'll be less messy than trying to pour pancake batter into a ketchup bottle. Fuck off! Have you pets in your house? Me too. Two dogs and two rats. Yes, rats. They're both cute and great for stopping people visiting, so that's a life hack in and of itself. But having pets comes with pros and cons, and one of the cons is when you're heading out to work and your clothes are covered in animal hair. Grand if you have a lint roller on hand, but if you have animals you know it's impossible to keep stocked up on them. But all is not lost. Grab some sticky tape and wrap it backwards around your hand so the sticky part is facing out and it sticks to itself, and lo and behold you've got yourself a hobo lint roller. And congratulations you're sorted, and coincidentally how I like my women, hairless from the neck down. I'm not saying some sort of clip or bobby pin wouldn't work to get every last drop of toothpaste out, but I will say if you care that much about the cost of toothpaste then I'm not going to be in any rush to spend virtually any time with you. Just buy a tub and stop being weird. And last, a handy dandy keyboard shortcut with some real world application. Problem, you're watching some filth online on your computer and you hear what sounds like someone approaching your room. So you close the tab and panic out of fear of being caught playing the trouser fiddle, but it's a false alarm. What now? Well now you gotta go searching again for that page you were just on. Wrong. Just open Chrome back up and press Ctrl Shift T. And the last tab you close will pop back into existence, letting you resume your fiddling before the guilt kicks in. It's great, it's the closest thing you'll find to a real life pecker or poon playing pause button. And one more for a bonus that I think most people know but I rarely see people using it. Click the scroll wheel on your mouse instead of the left click when clicking on a link. It'll open the link in a new tab and leave the original page untouched. And the last bad one. No, chewing gum will not stop you tearing up when cutting an onion. Your eyes water because of sulfides in the onion getting into your eyes. Chewing gum isn't going to stop that. Now people say it works because they tried it and it didn't tear up, but I've chopped loads of onions in the past without any aids and I was fine. It probably just depends on how much sulfides that particular onion has. If you want to stop crying when cutting up an onion, just remember that it lived a long and happy life and we all have to go eventually. Okay, we can stop the bad music now. God, it's like Chinese water torture for the ears. I can't even have the same outro music for too long. I don't know how they do it. Well, I do know. Watch any life hack video and you'll see there's something a bit off about these people. They all have the kind of voice and smile of somebody who's just mentally snapped and are about to do something that'll end with the voiceover of. They finished up on the plaza before turning the gun on themselves. Anyway, I'm going to go do something that has absolutely nothing to do with pressing Control Shift T. Speaking of which, hit that bell to be notified when I upload because my filthy mouth causes YouTube not to want to notify the Duck Army when I publish a video. So hit that bell will make sure you don't miss an upload. Also just put up another Q&A video on Patreon for those in the Patreon army who might have missed it. If you want to see that and support my bad habits, link to my Patreon is in the description. Thanks for watching and I will see you lads and ladies in the next one.